uh, my second attempt trying to record a video answer for this question. Uh, I've copied in here some suggested steps for proving trigonometric identities. Um, we're going to look at the first two rules here to give us a strategy for proving this identity. I've already started it here, but usually we work on the more complicated side and transform it to look like the other side. And we're going to, so we're going to work down the left hand side here. Uh, and we frequently try algebraic operations such as, well, combining fractions. Why would that come to mind for this problem? Well, the idea is that on the left hand side of the equal sign, we've got two terms, two fractions, as a matter of fact. And on the right hand side, we only have one term. So that's a clue that we should get a common denominator and combine these fractions into one. And we can see that the LCD is 1 minus the sine of x times 1 plus the sine of x. So that's our LCD. So we multiply top and bottom of the first fraction by 1 plus the sine of x because that's the missing factor and on top and bottom of the second fraction by 1 minus the sine of x. So if we simplify this numerator, we get cosine of x plus cosine x sine x minus cosine x plus cosine x. I let myself run out of room there, all over the LCD. But now let's multiply these two together. We're multiplying two binomials that are the sum and difference of the same two ter terms. So that will result in a difference of squares. 1 minus sine squared of x. And uh, in the new numerator, we can see that the cosine of x and the opposite of the cosine x cancel out. And we've got two of these cosine x sine x terms. So in the numerator, we've got two sine x cosine x or sine x cosine x. And in the denominator, we're going to use the Pythagorean identity that sine squared plus cosine squared equals one. That means that 1 minus sine squared can be replaced by cosine squared. If you didn't understand what I just said, write down sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1 and solve for cosine squared. And now we can see that one of these factors of cosine cancels out. I'll kind of do it this way. That results in 2 sine of x over cosine of x. But now we have another trig identity that says sine over cosine is tangent. So we have arrived at where we were headed. QED, that which was, which was to be proved. Okay, hopefully this uh, video gets posted this time.